So what do you think gave my video hockey stick growth in the last few days? I mean, look at this. The first 10 months, it's got 10,000 views. And in the last four days, it's got another 3,000 views. That, my friend, is a hockey stick. Do you think it's because of my extremely original and artistic thumbnail? Now maybe it's because I'm a fashion icon. Well, the truth is, I don't know. But I'm going to find out. So in YouTube Studio Analytics, I look at the last 48 hours and I can see the top videos. And as I click on this, see more, I noticed that one of the videos in particular was growing a lot. This one here from September last year. And now this is July that I'm recording this video. So that's 10 months ago. What's this one again? Can't change your Zoom profile picture during a meeting. So here's the hockey stick growth. Let's get more granular. Instead of looking at it since it was published, let's just look at the last seven days. Whoa. You'll see that if we look over the last 28 days, you'll see what a growth that is. So something has triggered off this video from Saturday, July 17th. Well, where is the traffic coming from? Look over here, I'm seeing the external traffic sources. Now, most of my traffic comes, about 50% of my traffic comes from YouTube search. But on this one, 70%, 69% is coming from external sources. What does that mean? Well, let's go into the reach and we'll find out where that's coming from. So this is once again since it was published. And what we can see here is that this big one is external. External basically means Google search. That's where most of that external traffic is coming from. So people are searching in Google and finding this video. They're not doing a YouTube search so much. Let's just look at that for the last uh, seven days. And we can see that traffic over the last seven days. External. Well, Let's go into more detail. Whoa. <laughs> That's amazing, isn't it? So we're getting a massive click through on that boring thumbnail, 15%. That's phenomenal. That is really, really good for my channel. That's excellent. That's on a YouTube search. And on external, look how much traffic we're getting, how many views we're getting. 75% of the views, three quarters of the views on this video have come from external, from Google search. Now, I could dig down further still to find out what geography, where they're coming from, but what I'm more interested in here is what search terms people are using to get to this video. Not much of it is coming from suggested videos. Most of it is coming from this, and I see the detail in the YouTube search. I don't get to see that here in the Google search, what search terms people are using. Now, I'm noticing two things. I, people are searching for not allow to change avatar Zoom. Now, that is actually not correct English. They should be searching for not allowed to change avatar Zoom. And what's this word avatar? They're, they're looking for a message that says they're not allowed to change their avatar. Zoom not, al not allow to change avatar. So the reason that I'm pointing out that that's wrong English is that that means that people are probably copying in that exact message from Zoom. Let me do a search. Let me do a Google search for that. And sure enough, I'm seeing this message here, not allow to change avatar. Whoa. -ho. So that tells me that that is the message that people are getting when they are trying to change their profile picture on Zoom. But Zoom has changed the message apparently from change picture or change profile picture to change avatar picture. Or maybe that's a different thing that I need to be creating a video about how to change your avatar picture or more importantly, not allow to change avatar. So what I'm going to do next is go back and create a new video about that message, not allowed to change avatar. I'm still going to keep the old one here because that's getting tons of traffic. Now what I'm seeing on this old video is that it's not getting me many subscribers at all. 
and it hasn't generated that much revenue either. I can see that the CPM, the cost per mille, is not that high. It's not too bad, but it's not that high. But definitely, I will check the video itself. I can see that it's got a lot of activity in the first few seconds, in the first 30 seconds of the video, and then people drop right off. So I'm going to go back and look at what is it in those first few seconds that people grabbed that said, hey, this is the answer that I'm after. So I've got a two minute video at the moment, not too long, but I'm going to create a, probably a shorter video that really gets to the heart of why people can't change their profile avatar as Zoom is calling it now. So if you want, go back and have a look at my old video on what, what to do when you can't change your profile picture and then work out for yourself what is it about that video that you would change. I'm going to be creating a new video which will address that exact question but in from a different angle. I'm going to be creating a new video which will address that exact question but from a different angle. So I'm going to create a new video about why you may not be able to change your Zoom profile avatar and we'll see how that one compares with this old one which has got the hockey stick growth.